Okay, so what's up guys, it's Matters, and this video, we're gonna be talking about the super easter egg drama, the possibility of a super easter egg, the chances of it still being possible, how it was completely disproved, everything that went down on the COD Zombie subreddit, and a bunch of different stuff regarding the super easter egg. So again, if you can leave a like, that would be greatly appreciated, and let's just get straight into the video. So, if you guys don't know, obviously, Revelations released on the Xbox One and PC yesterday, on Thursday, and we thought that was the day. The real DF, a you know, data miner on Reddit, he's been giving us information time and time again. Keep in mind, he has been correct almost every single time when it comes to leaked information. He's been saying the Super Easter egg would be would be coming once we get the Xbox One and PC versions. So obviously, yesterday and now today on Friday or Saturday, whatever, whenever you're watching this, everyone's been saying, where is it? And obviously, we had the huge information regarding the video file of a possible third Easter egg ending cutscene in four revelations, which we thought would be the super Easter egg ending cutscene. But obviously, today, a bunch of people have been decoding it and looking through, and the whole thing just exploded. Um, so basically, the third cutscene video file turned out to just be the Shadows of Evil sort of a clip from Shadows of Evil, a cutscene from Shadows of Evil, whatever the hell it was, the game ending, I, I don't really know what it was, something related to Shadows of Evil, obviously not the Super Easter Egg ending cutscene, um, so everyone just went just haywire on the real DF, everyone was just screaming, it was insane, um, you had all the YouTubers tweeting out, rip Super Easter Egg, all this insane stuff, and the, the whole drama went down, the COD Zombie subreddit, the real DF, um, I heard like the moderators forced them to shut down the information because he basically trolled and deceived the whole community into believing there's super easter egg and all this insane stuff and um that's why the kazami subreddit was down they wanted to clean out all the posts and just a bunch of random stuff i'm not, I'm not gonna really go into too much with that because obviously the moderators they can do what they want to do obviously i don't agree with them taking down posts for no reason i mean freedom of speech they should be able to you should be able to say whatever you want on the kazami subreddit as long as it's related to zombies so you know i don't understand the point of that but again he they wanted to get rid of all the spam and hatred and crazy stuff so they got that they got that then they put it back up um but the super easter egg itself I, i'm not personally saying it's still possible i just think that the fact that the video file turned out to be the shadows of evil sort of a, a something a clip from shadows of evil it doesn't necessarily mean that the super easter egg is fully debunked the super easter egg evidence we had was not originally based on there being a cutscene like we we thought maybe there was a cutscene for the super easter egg maybe that was a chance of it being possible maybe we had this last super easter egg ending cutscene that was just magnificent and just better than this revelations easter egg ending cutscene that we received and obviously was lackluster to what we actually wanted it to be with this fourth storyline with everything we've been expecting up until now and then we saw revelations it was just like oh this is it they just teleport dr monty just teleports his characters in the new world and that's that so we wanted more we thought maybe there was a cutscene but that wasn't necessarily all the evidence that wasn't all the real df's evidence the real df his evidence was basically from the code a bunch of different lines relating to just random stuff with super easter egg in different maps new easter eggs popping up within these different dlc maps a bunch of insane stuff and all that stuff was straight from the code just like hardcore hardcore code right in the game for when the new patch update releases none of it was really for the cutscene it was more of just super easter egg in the code that's that you know it really wasn't anything else besides that so although i mean i think the chances of a super easter egg aren't likely to begin with it's just like this crazy thing that we've been talking about and again i've always been on edge for i've always thought there's so much evidence i've been covering the evidence but is it really gonna happen? You know, it, it's it's sort of like this really weird toss of like, you have the evidence, but is it gonna happen? And I think the fact that the cutscene turned out to be something from Shadows of Evil, this third cutscene that we saw in the video files, it, it disproves the Easter egg a bit more, it disproves there being a super Easter egg a bit more, but it doesn't fully debunk there being a super Easter egg. You know, I, I don't know. I, I just think that going all out on the real DF and just saying the real DF you deceived us makes no sense because he wasn't really even a part of this cutscene thing. He never said there was going to be a cutscene. He never showed us that the third Easter egg cutscene is here. He never said that. He never said, oh, I'm sorry guys, it's actually a Shadows of Evil cutscene. He never said that one second of his time. 
He's been making his Reddit posts, again, to keep in mind and to give you some backstory, he's been correct for the Ryzen Rocks, the Sumirashima, Garai Krovi, and I I've been covering this for a while, guys. I've been reading the Reddit posts, I've been looking at the real DF for over a year now, he's been correct, trust me, okay, 100%. He predicted everything as a Sumirashima, specifically the KT4, all that insane stuff, like, he got everything right. So, the fact that he wasn't even a part of this cutscene stuff and he's sort of being blamed is a... It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I still think there could be a Super Easter Egg. Obviously, the Super Easter Egg doesn't necessarily even need to have a cutscene to begin with anyway. It doesn't necessarily need to have a cutscene. The Super Easter Egg could just be this Easter Egg that gives a lot of quotes. You can do stuff in different DLC maps, and it basically just wraps the game together, wraps the storyline together into one whole piece like it should have been instead of revelations not really wrapping anything together just sort of ending off revelations like if, if it felt like the revelations ending cutscene was literally just not the ending of a storyline like they played it out to be like jason mundell said ending the storyline we're gonna put brackets on the storyline it sort of just felt like a map ending that led into the next game and then that's really it so obviously super easter egg doesn't need to have a cutscene could just be some sort of storyline thing that wraps it all together but you have to say as well is it still possible? I don't know. Again, I'm not saying that it's still possible. I'm not saying that it isn't possible. I'm just saying that the real DF, his evidence isn't still disproven. Th this random video file that we saw, nothing, nothing to do with the real DF's evidence um, from before with Super Easter Egg being within the code time and time again with all of the teasers from Jason Mundell. If you think you're done with DLC 4, you should, you know, you're, you should be kidding yourself or something like that, whatever Jason Mundell said at uh, Cod XP, whatever. Um, so I think all of these different things that we've been talking about, you can't forget about them. So I don't know. I know a lot of people disagree with the Super Easter Egg. A lot of people agree with the Super Easter Egg, but I just want to keep this in mind. It's not the real DF's fault. You know, he, he's just... A, a random guy just trying to he, he's an adult he's pretty old he's like 40 whatever i don't even know he I, he's definitely at that range um he's just giving us code he has no reason to troll us he's been correct every single time before he's respectful everyone loves him it's like i i don't really see the purpose of sort of blaming him for all of this and i, I think a lot of you guys sort of agree with me as well and a lot of you guys probably Dis I, I think if you guys disagree with me, you probably aren't even watching at this point anyway. I guess let me know if you do disagree disagree with me. Let me know if you're watching right now. Um, because I just want to make it clear that I'm not saying the Super Easter is still possible. It's not possible. I just think like the real DF's evidence with with the video file not being a cutscene for the Super Easter egg, that doesn't the 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 East, the cutscene not being there doesn't disprove his ev or do it do doesn't disprove his evidence that we've seen so far with, with all these different writer posts back from uh, early August moving through September when the revelation is released regarding the Super Easter Egg being within the code being released upon the Xbox One PC version. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a really interesting time. I didn't really want to make a video like this, but I felt like I had to because I just wanted to not, not really defend him, but just like make some sense out of this, you know? Um, and really show you my sort of centrist opinion on the Super Easter Egg because obviously I'm very excited for it and with all these videos I, I've been very excited with all the evidence it's just like it gets crazier and crazier but I, I am realistic like I'm not an idiot I, I do understand that there is a potential a decent potential almost a 50-50 shot that there is a Super Easter Egg and there isn't like I'm not an idiot I understand that you know I just think that the random video file doesn't completely disprove it I think Easter eggs being released on games, they don't need to be solved immediately. I, you know, obviously we've seen Easter eggs that have taken mon months to complete. Like obviously the Garakrovi Monkey Bomb upgrade was just found a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like a week and a half ago. And Garakrovi's been out since the beginning of July, you know? Like Easter eggs don't need to be found immediately. It could take a couple months. Um, Jason Blundell has also said, Revelations, it will take you over a year to complete all the Easter eggs on Revelation. So maybe again, there's some sort of super Easter egg that ties into the storyline and brings the actual brackets together in that sort of form or fashion. It doesn't need to be a huge Easter egg. It could just be a super Easter egg in the sense that it ties the storyline together. And that's obviously what we want. That's obviously why we want a super Easter egg, an Easter egg that ties the game together, that ties the storyline together. So there's a possibility for that as well. Um, I don't know. That's really it. There's nothing else I can really say here. So I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think about the Super Easter Egg. Leave a comment below. Do, I guess, do you still believe in it? Because I can't say do you believe in it anymore because the whole community has just like shut down. I, I guess maybe to the people on Reddit. I don't know. I really, I, I 
Maybe I should put like a straw po straw poll in the comment section in the description below because I don't know how many people are truly against the super easter eggs. Like, like the past two super easter egg videos I've made, they've gotten like like, like an insane amount of dislikes. You know, I I mean, it it it's weird. And I know a lot of people do agree with me. A lot of people disagree with me with the super easter egg, and I, I just don't know. If, you, if everyone still thinks that the Super Easter Egg is like a possibility, or if it's just completely gone for, that's it. This was the final point. And I do think the Super Easter Egg, the hype is dying down, but I don't think it's the final point. Because like I said, the video file has nothing to do with the real DF's evidence thus far. Super Easter Egg, he never said it was going to have a cutscene. He never said it need to have a cutscene. No one ever said it need to have a cutscene. So, I don't know. That That's just what I think. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're watching right now, leave a... I just ran out of breath there. It sounds like I was crying. I'm not going to cut this. I just want to do, like, a raw commentary here. Um, leave a comment below. Seriously, like, what do you guys think about the super Easter egg? Do you think it's possible? Let me know if you're watching right now. And, um, yeah, that's, that's really it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.